professors. You'll be familiar with the evolution of impulse response based sample modeling. By creating an impulse response at, say, a sound room at Abbey Road Studios, we can generate an algorithm that gives us the difference between a pure digital sound and the same sound as if it were played back at Abbey Road. Then we can use a convolution to emulate it on a PC. It is one of the main reasons that modern sample libraries are becoming so realistic. We can do the same with an acoustic instrument. A pure vibration can be passed virtually through the body of a viola or a guitar using inexpensive software. As it turns out, the same is true in the world of visual effects. The effects of high dynamic range light on reflections and diffused surfaces on a film set or in a video game environment can be sampled. Then we can apply a visual convolution in the computer to make it ultra realistic lighting, even in real time. This is a virtual environment running in real time on my PC. We have complex reflections, shadowing, global illumination, specular highlights. The virtual camera is programmed to mimic the behavior of a real lens, or eye, which adjusts itself automatically to changes in light intensity. In the same way, we mimic the behavior of light on polished and torch-lit marble hallways. Now, we can also mimic the behavior of sound as it bounces off those same walls in open chambers and diffuse frequencies with occluded objects. What is unique here, though, is that this place never existed. And yet, here we are. I can not only play back multi-channel audio files from a virtual sound source, but I can also play live music into my computer and have it be recreated virtually in this entirely imaginary place. Perhaps more exciting still is that I've been able to use good old MIDI, the standard of 30 years, to turn musical performances into very low bandwidth data, and then have that MIDI data regenerated inside of a homemade virtual world. One of my favorite composers of all time is Scott Joplin the father of ragtime music. We have no actual recordings of Mr. Joplin playing the piano, and only about seven piano rolls that even hint at his true expression. There are some fine piano players, obviously, who can play his songs note for note, but I think there's something missing. He wrote and spoke about his love of fluctuating the tempo of a piece as he performed live perhaps depending on the dancing couples around him. Then he would take the piano from the quietest notes, like drops of rain, to the roar of a busy carnival, from moment to moment. We can only guess at his greatest performances, or his favorites. Here, I am beginning to recreate a public music bar, for example, in Chicago in 1903. I am building everything here a piece at a time, every model, texture, animation, and the programming. I've chosen a meticulously sampled wing tack piano, just like the ones Joplin was known to favor at that time period. The noise of the hammers, even the thumps and squeaks of the pedals can be heard. Lastly, I've done my best to create a MIDI file that captures some of the human expression that is so often lost in the mechanical reproductions of ragtime music. This is a favorite of mine, part two of Solace, a Mexican serenade.